Hi guys, welcome back to C++ for Open Foam. So in the last video, we were talking about uh, how to put some, put in some of these uh, you know, vector uh, elements. Alright, so uh, initially, of course, uh, this code is actually, if you try and run it, it'll be a bit buggy. But yeah, we are trying to put the x into the first, uh, first um, what do you call it, column. Okay, the first uh, the first uh, element will be x, the second element will be y, the third element will be z. And then we want to calculate some vector length, right? So how do you access the elements in a vector? So, okay, let's just put this down first, vector. Okay, so we go by uh, rows and columns. That's how they are defined. How the coordinate system is defined so we go row 0 column 0 and that's the x vector the x uh, value first row uh, first, uh, second row first column and third row first column all right remember we always start at 0 so this is how it is supposed to be so I mean the logic of this, it may not be the correct syntax, but okay. Well, may not exactly be the correct syntax, but this is what we want our program to do. We want to initiate a double variable, L, which is the length. We want to initiate a vector or an array, which is, we call it vector, with uh, three rows, three rows and one column, three rows and one column. So we want the user to put in X, Y, and Z. No problem. And then we want to put the x, y, and z into this vector uh, as follows. And hopefully, uh, as we calculate the vector length, so we can get uh, the first element of the vector, the second element of the vector, and the third element of the vector. So vector length will uh, just spit out the length, and we want to print it out. Now let's try to G++ this thing, okay? So anyway, I have added some other other examples here. Where I can look at that later. Uh, that was for my experimentation. Okay, so G++, uh, what is this thing called? Vector length. Okay, so let it complete for a while. Length, C++, O, and length calc. Now let's see. Uh, okay. Now we have a problem. It says x was not declared in this scope. So C in. We didn't declare x. We didn't declare y as a variable. And we didn't declare z as a variable. Okay. What can we do about this? Um, so let, let's go back to our C++ code. So instead of inputting x, we don't, we don't have to input x. We can just put vector 0, 0 because that is our x coordinate okay input y we can put input vector 0 1 all right oh rather 1 and 0 because that's the second element in the so it's a second row first column or in other words, index, index, row index 1, column index 0. Okay, remember it's always starting from 0, so that's why. Yeah, so the third one will be called vector 2 and 0. So our brackets are there, and now this thing kind of becomes redundant, so we can just delete this. Okay, anyway, that syntax was a, a little faulty. So we will have to define our x, y, and z as follows. So x... Uh, input x will be put into the vector 0, 0. Input y will be put into the vector 1, 0. Input z will be put into the vector 2, 0. So let's try and see whether this thing works. So we run the G++ and apparently there's no error. So let's, let's try the length calculation. So 1, 1, 1 and the length is 1.73. Okay, so um, yeah, it, it seems like a reasonable length. Uh, yeah. So, essentially, the the length is the square root of three, 
So the square root of three. Okay, okay, let's write three square root. Never mind. Three square root. Okay, 1.73, 205. It's perfect. This is what our vector length is. So one square plus one square plus one square is three square. So perfect. We we have our we have our uh, vector length. So let me add this to get git. And this is uh, our first function with some uh, uh, arrays. We are dealing with arrays here. So uh, we are we are dealing with arrays. And this is our first function. First function with arrays demonstrated on YouTube. Okay, this is my commit message. I'm going to push it to git. Okay. All right, so it's pushing to git very nicely. Um, all right, so let's let's see whether there is some other way of doing this thing. So this is the other way, the alternative way of uh, writing this code in a little bit in a in a more complicated manner. So instead of uh, you know putting the vector thing here, uh, I put the the vector as follows. I have double l x y and z. So in this vector instead of just leaving it there, I can initialize it. So initializing the vector, you must declare it for the first time. If you declare it for the first time and you want to fill it with elements, this is how you do it. Uh, this is very similar to uh, what we have over, where is it? Yeah, here. So you see, when you use the curly braces like so, uh, this is only if you want to initialize vectors. If you try to, oh, um, change the elements in a vector like this, you're going to get an error. Meaning to say that, okay, I've already defined vector uh, defined vector 3, 1. And then suddenly I say vector 3, 1. E then I type this statement vector 3, 1 equals the curly braces in, of x, y, and z. Open uh, C++ is going to throw you an error because uh, this is only used, this can only be used, this curly braces can only be used in definition. So the safe way, of course, is to define it element by element. And for this code, it just says uh, you'll put input in the x, y, and z. All right, the user will put in x, y, and z. Um, and when x, y, and z is put in, uh, x, y, and z will be assigned to the vector values. All right, and then the length will be as follows, similar to what we do just now. All right, this is the other way of writing it. It's a slightly longer way, but uh, yeah, that's just to show you some of the use of this curly braces, which will not be used in this time round. Okay, so uh, of course, this, this uh, vector length of C++ is way more elegant, right? This vector length is way more elegant because there's uh, less lines of code. Um, yeah. But hopefully you understand what, what I'm talking about here. And probably in the next video, in the next video, um, yeah, um, in the next video we can talk about, we can talk more about, uh, yeah, uh, what, what, what am I going to talk about? Yeah, we can talk about vector addition. So this is going to start using the for loops and we're going to add the vectors element by element. Uh, all right. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna put this this uh, this link in the description, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.